Mark and Sarah, the perfect couple. They met in college, a chance encounter that blossomed into a whirlwind romance. From the moment they locked eyes, it was as if the universe had conspired to bring them together. Their friends often joked that they were like characters from a romantic novel destined to be together. At least that's what everyone thought. Ten years of marriage, a decade filled with memories both big and small. They celebrated each anniversary with the same enthusiasm as their first, always finding new ways to surprise each other. Their photo albums were a testament to their journey, each picture telling a story of love, laughter, and shared dreams, a love story straight out of a movie. They had it all, a beautiful home, successful careers. Their house, nestled in a picturesque suburb, was more than just bricks and mortar. It was a sanctuary where they built their life together. Every corner of their home echoed with their shared moments, from late-night conversations to lazy Sunday mornings. Their life together was a tapestry woven with laughter, shared dreams, and unwavering companionship. They were each other's confidants, always there to support and uplift one another. Their bond was evident to anyone who saw them, a silent testament to their deep connection. Mark, a successful architect, poured his heart into designing their dream home. Every detail, from the grand entrance to the cozy reading nook, was a reflection of their shared vision. He often said that the house was a symbol of their love, a place where they could grow old together, a testament to their love. It stood as a beacon of their commitment, a place where they could create countless memories. Friends and family often marveled at the beauty of their home, but to Mark and Sarah, it was simply the backdrop to their love story. Sarah, a talented writer, filled their home with warmth and laughter. Her stories, often inspired by their life together, brought joy to many. She had a way with words, capturing the essence of their love in her writings. Her presence was a constant source of inspiration for Mark. Her infectious energy brightened even the dullest days. She had a knack for turning ordinary moments into extraordinary memories. Whether it was a simple dinner at home or a spontaneous road trip, Sarah's zest for life made every experience unforgettable. They were the envy of their friends, the epitome of a love that would stand the test of time. Their friends often sought their advice on relationships, hoping to capture a bit of the magic that Mark and Sarah seemed to have in abundance. They were the couple everyone aspired to be. Weekends were for romantic getaways, candlelit dinners. They made it a point to keep the romance alive, always finding new ways to show their love for each other. Their favorite spot was a quaint little restaurant by the sea where they would spend hours talking and dreaming about the future. Long walks on the beach, the sound of the waves crashing against the shore was their favorite symphony. They would walk hand in hand, lost in their own world, sharing their hopes and fears. Those moments were their escape, a reminder of the simple joys of life. Their love story was one for the ages, or so it seemed. To the outside world, they were the perfect couple, but like all stories, there were chapters that remained hidden. Beneath the surface of their seemingly perfect life, there were struggles and challenges that they kept to themselves. Behind the smiles and the laughter, a storm was brewing. Unspoken words and unresolved issues began to cast a shadow over their happiness. The pressures of their careers, the expectations of their friends and family, and the weight of their own dreams started to take a toll, a secret that threatened to shatter their perfect world. It was a burden they both carried, a silent struggle that neither wanted to acknowledge. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, the cracks in their relationship began to widen. The picture of happiness they had so carefully crafted was on the verge of falling apart. It started innocently enough. A misplaced book. A forgotten letter tucked between the pages. It had been years since anyone had touched that book. The letter, yellowed with age, seemed to whisper secrets from the past. Mark stumbled upon it while searching for his reading glasses. His desk, cluttered with papers, was a testament to his busy life. He had no idea that a simple search for his glasses would lead him down a path of heartache and revelation. The elegant handwriting was unfamiliar. It was delicate, almost artistic, each letter flowing into the next with a grace that seemed out of place in his otherwise chaotic world. His name, scrawled across the cream-colored envelope, sent a shiver down his spine. The ink, though faded, still held a certain menace. Curiosity drew him in. He felt an inexplicable pull, a need to uncover the mystery within those pages. He hesitated, his heart pounding, 
The rational part of his mind screamed at him to put the letter back, but the allure of the unknown was too strong to resist. With a deep breath, he steeled himself and carefully opened the envelope, his hands trembling with a mix of fear and anticipation. The paper was fragile, threatening to tear with each movement. He unfolded it slowly, almost reverently. The words, filled with longing and desire, hit him like a physical blow. Each sentence was a revelation, peeling back layers of a life he never knew existed. Each sentence was a dagger to his heart. The pain was palpable, as if the writer had reached through time to deliver a message meant to shatter his world. The letter spoke of secret rendezvous, stolen kisses, and a love that burned with an intensity he had never known. It was signed simply, Yours Eternally, David. The name was unfamiliar, yet it carried a weight that was impossible to ignore. Who was David, and what did he mean to Sarah? Denial washed over him. This couldn't be happening, not to him, not to them. His mind raced, searching for any plausible explanation. He replayed every moment he had shared with Sarah, looking for signs he might have missed. Had there been hints of this hidden life? His Sarah would never betray him like this. The woman in the photo, smiling lovingly, seemed worlds apart from the one described in the letter. It was all a terrible misunderstanding, a cruel joke. Someone had to be playing a trick on him. The alternative was too painful to consider. He crumpled the letter in his fist, his mind reeling. The room seemed to close in around him, the walls pressing in as the weight of the revelation threatened to crush him. He needed answers, but he feared what he might find. The seed of doubt, once planted, grew with alarming speed. It started as a mere whisper in the back of his mind, a fleeting thought that he tried to dismiss. But the more he tried to ignore it, the louder it became, until it was all he could think about. Every glance, every word, every action seemed to confirm his worst fears. The letter, though crumpled, burned a hole in his pocket. Sleep evaded him. He would lie awake at night, staring at the ceiling, replaying every moment in his mind, searching for clues he might have missed. The letter was a constant reminder of the betrayal he feared, a tangible piece of evidence that he couldn't ignore. The image of Sarah with another man haunted his waking hours. He couldn't escape it. It was there when he closed his eyes, when he tried to work, when he tried to relax. It was a shadow that followed him everywhere, a ghost that refused to be exorcised. He found himself looking at old photographs, searching for signs of the cracks that had now become chasms. He couldn't shake off the feeling that his world was crumbling around him. The life he had built, the future he had envisioned, all seemed to be slipping through his fingers like sand. He felt overwhelmed, lost in a sea of doubt and confusion. The walls that had once felt so solid now seemed to be closing in on him, threatening to bury him under their weight. Desperate for answers, he made a decision that went against his very nature. He was a man who valued trust and honesty, who believed in the goodness of people. But now, he found himself questioning everything he had once held dear. He knew he couldn't go on like this, living in a state of perpetual uncertainty. He needed to know the truth, no matter how painful it might be. He hired a private detective. It was a step he never thought he would take, a line he never thought he would cross. But he was desperate, and desperation has a way of pushing people to do things they never thought they were capable of. The detective was a man of few words, but his reputation spoke volumes. He was known for his discretion, his ability to uncover the truth no matter how deeply it was buried. A man who moved in the shadows, unearthing secrets. He was a master of his craft, a man who could see what others missed, who could piece together the fragments of a shattered story and reveal the truth hidden within. He worked quietly, methodically, leaving no stone unturned. He was relentless in his pursuit of the truth, and Mark knew that if anyone could find the answers he sought, it was this man. The detective, a gruff man with eyes that missed nothing, listened intently to Mark's story. He asked questions, probing for details, piecing together the puzzle that Mark had been struggling with for so long. His intense expression never wavered, his focus never faltered. He was a man on a mission and Mark could see the determination in his eyes. Days turned into weeks. The detective, efficient and discreet, uncovered a trail of deceit. Hotel receipts, phone records. He followed the breadcrumbs, each piece of evidence leading him closer to the truth. 
He worked tirelessly, often late into the night, sifting through documents, making connections, uncovering secrets that had been carefully hidden. Photographs of Sarah and a man, their laughter echoing through the silence of Mark's despair. The images were like daggers to his heart, each one a painful reminder of the betrayal he had feared. He could see the happiness in their eyes, the connection they shared, and it tore him apart. The life he had known, the woman he had loved, all seemed like a distant memory, replaced by a harsh new reality. The evidence was irrefutable. His perfect life, a carefully constructed illusion. The truth was laid bare before him, and there was no denying it. The world he had known was gone, replaced by a harsh new reality. He felt devastated, broken, as if the very foundation of his life had been ripped away. The picture frame that once held a cherished memory now lay shattered, a symbol of the life that had been lost. The confrontation was inevitable. The weight of the truth, unbearable. He confronted Sarah, the evidence spread out on the table between them. The love letter, the photographs, the hotel receipts, each item a testament to her betrayal. Sarah's initial reaction was a mixture of shock and denial. She stammered, her eyes wide with feigned innocence. She denied everything. She accused Mark of being paranoid, delusional. But as the evidence mounted, her defenses crumbled. Tears streamed down her face as she confessed. The words tumbled out of her, a torrent of guilt and remorse. She begged for his forgiveness. She claimed it was a mistake, a moment of weakness. But the damage was done. The trust shattered into a million pieces.